can't wait to see what Cam has his butt hurt about. If it isn't the old one trick pawn, you ready to finally nut up or shut up, or are you just gonna keep it up with the passive aggressive shit this time? Oof. I don't know what I did that got you so butt hurt, but the entire season constantly is like, oh, he doesn't even have any talent. He shouldn't even be here. He only does one thing. It's like, you tell me I only do one thing? If Cam got to challenge everyone he had to grudge with, it would be a group challenge <laughs> for Cam. You know, you say that I was this lone wolf, didn't want anything to do with the team. You were a huge part of that. I know you're kind of butt hurt that I gave you the Sacred Heart over the geometric mandala thing. I could have sworn I handed you a home run tattoo and you went home on it. So like, I'm like, I don't know what he's mad at me about. You're pretending to play this whole, like, oh, I'm watching out for you, man. It's like you watched out for me by giving me something that obviously ended up biting me in the butt rather than doing something that I would clearly knock out of the park. I'm not gonna lie, I hated you. I feel like he's just gonna punch Pond. All right, let's go, I heard enough, let's go. Yeah, man. I, it's hard to try and save someone who doesn't want to be saved. I can handle my shit. Let's see if you can handle it today. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Smells like hamburgers up here. Here we go. So much oh, beef. Hey, guys. I see you guys are still at it. Any of you guys got hemorrhoid cream? Whoa. Hemorrhoid cream? Because he's butt hurt. Oh, oh, boy. How long have you been sitting on that? Just now. No pun intended. That's good. <laughs> What's the deal? We really want to know, why do you guys not like each other? I was trying to be like a team player. You know, the whole point of thing was men versus women. It was like men, women, cam at one point. I was just trying to play the game. I'm not here to win any popularity contests. I'm not here to kiss ass. I'm not here to brown nose. I came here to do tattoos and I came here to do the best work possible. And obviously that's not really all that high on your agenda. Because I know. it shows. It shows that I made it farther than you, dude. Oh, you Shit. Nope. I want some tattoos to start talking. Put your money where your mouth is, yes. huh? There's money involved. We're gonna give you guys a 90 minute face off tattoo to level the playing field. And we're gonna pick what you guys are gonna tattoo. 90 minutes doesn't scare me. But the winner of that 90 minute face off gets to pick the style or subject of the six hour grudge match tattoo. Whoever wins the grudge match settles this for good. Now this 90 minute tattoo has to be finished, right? Ooh. It has to be good, right? Oh. <laughs> we gotta figure out what they're gonna do for this 90 minute tattoo. And they're so passionate, obviously, about this beef, we gotta think of something that's gonna evoke a little emotion, huh? Clearly they can't agree on anything. Nothing. And it seems to me like there's a bunch of knives getting thrown in each other's backs. How's about a dagger? Ooh, appropriate. Take it. So we're gonna do daggers, any style. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. I'm down with that. Seems fair. You guys got no time to waste. Get the design in. Let's get the tattooing. Got this. All right. Good luck, guys. This is going to be good. What are you going to throw, Matt? The same traditional shit? I'm sticking with what I got. You know, what are you going to do? A black and gray tattoo with a female face in it? If I could get that done in 90 minutes, you goddamn right I would. Guys, play to our strengths. Mine happens to be good tattoos, and you know, yours is tattoos. In our second grudge, Season 11 self-proclaimed master illustrator, Tim Stafford, butted heads with the hot-headed technician, Kyle McKenzie. Mr. Versatility. You did New School the whole no, time. I didn't. I was Dude, you much... dropped the ball on New School Day. Here we go. Now, they'll put their versatility to the test. Show us the versatility that you say you have at home. The second you do that, I shut my mouth. Kyle and Tim. Kyle was on my team on season 11, and Tim was on Christian's team. Team Christian always targeted Kyle because his tattoos were so bold, so solid, and so fundamentally sound yeah. that he did win right. quite a bit. Tim puts out there that he's the best illustrator and was always bagging on Kyle for doing traditional tattoos, but then Tim would always do new school tattoos. But he's a slow tattooer. Mr. Traditional skull outline. What is the challenge, Tim? Is it traditional? Is it new school? It's doing a galaxy. All I'm it saying is, is you you're not really showing my first week, bro. Dude, you do dude, new school dude, every I'm one of the week. Best composers in this house. I'm like, oh, you're oh, an idiot, dude. You walk around like your shit doesn't stink. It don't. I'm done with him. It's just funny because you know Kyle can't really do what Tim does, and Tim can't really do what Kyle does, and the exactly. two are angry at each other totally. for being good at what they're bad at. Since season 11, I've opened up my own private studio. I feel like my confidence and my ambition towards the things that I want to do with my life has changed. Really, really cool to see you here and seeing all the things that I've accomplished. Dude, I'm so excited that like you've got, finally got your own shop. This has been a long time coming. Yeah, man, I'm just happy. I'm coming back to give Kyle a little bit of an ego check. He says that he's versatile, but the things that he produces doesn't show the versatility that he talks about. Kyle's in need of a slice of humble pie, and I'm here to serve it, plain and simple.
Come on. Tim calls me a one-trick pony just because I put a clean, bold outline around my tattoos, and he calls it traditional. If you come talking that bullshit, you got to be ready to back it up. One, two, three. Yay! When I'm around my kids, I'm a completely different person. How was school, Helena? Lila loves school. Going into this grudge match, I'm keeping my kids close at heart, always in the back of my mind. I gotta stay cool, calm, and collected because I'm doing this for them. Oh, there's my boy. Crazy being back here, man. Going up against this clown. Here we go. Can't wait to oh. pull him in his place. He's gonna lose Where this shit. Where is that anger coming man. from? He's an angry dude. Oh, here oh. we go. Look who it is. Look who decided to show up. Mr. Versatility. He was Hello sitting on a beach over in the Bahamas. You call me Mr. Versatility? Yeah, because you have zero versatility. Mm. Well, I work in a street shop, dude. I do everything that comes through the door. So what if you do so many good things, how come you didn't bring those skills to the table I did. here? You brought trad here. That was it. You did new school the whole no, time. No, I didn't. I was Dude, you much... dropped the ball. That, that's not the point. He's full of fire, I'm telling you. The fact is, I, was, I got further than you taking risks, showing way more versatility. I played the game, man. I just did what was asked of me. My shit was just way more artistically better That's cool. than yours. The challenge isn't and creativity. So it's not artistry, dog. For that the shit. challenge is doing a solid tattoo. Let's, Let's go, go break see. this up and yeah. get these guys some uh, tattoos to do. I do tattoos that look like tattoos, man. New school looks like tattoos. Can't have new school without the old school, bro. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh! Quiet down, guys. Woo. Time to put the machines where the mouth is. Yeah. All right. Bands so come out. You guys were at it like two wild animals. I lived with these guys, so I I saw it firsthand. I just felt like, yeah, he can do clean tattoos, but you got to bring something unique, something special. Have some artistic ability, man. I got rules in my style. You don't have rules. So you can do whatever the you want, and you're just going to call it artsy. Wow. I, <laughs> you wow. guys. It is what it is, man. You guys I mean, ready to get into it? Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. Right now, we're gonna give you guys a 90 minute face off tattoo where we pick what you're gonna be tattooing. The winner of that face off tattoo gets to choose the style or the subject for your six hour grudge match tattoo. Sounds good. Whoever wins the six hour grudge match tattoo ends this. Are you gonna be able to finish? Why don't you go ahead and finish your tattoo fast as What should we make him do? That's, the, that's where I'm up in the air. Well, cause say we call out a subject, he's gonna do a traditional, he's gonna do a new school. I would put the deed to the ranch on that one. That's how you play the game. How's about this? Kyle can do anything but traditional, and Tim can do anything but new school. Instead of giving them their styles, we're taking them. Define traditional, though, because there's so many subgenres. American traditional, neo-traditional. If you have to question what we're gonna think about it, go the opposite way. Gotcha. We want you guys to prove to us that you can do a banging tattoo in a style that's obviously not your own. Let's do this, man. All right. Absolutely. Get to work. And step on the gas. No hitting. The fact that the judges actually gave you this challenge is the exact same reason why I brought you here in the first place. I do different shit all day, every day, man. I'm a street shop tattooer. Show us the versatility that you say you have at home. The second you do that, I shut my mouth. All right, guys, you ready for a fight? Absolutely. You guys got 90 minutes to do dagger tattoos. Any way you want. Your time starts now. Get it. Do it. Good luck, guys. He's going to need it. Boom. Perfect, man. Get your ass up there. Let's go. You good, man? Yep. I already know that my design is going to blow ponds out of the water. My tattoo is a very thin, elegant dagger with a B on the hilt. I want to include all that soft shading that I'm known for, the very textured stippling. It's going to be a hell of a lot more impressive to be pulling those long, thin lines than just like a regular fat one. This is my chance to shine, really show what I could do. Half an hour down, guys. You've got one hour left. An hour left? I'm going to do another tattoo. Don't do that to him. He doesn't need two shitty tattoos. Just stick with the one. I hate grudges. I don't like when people don't like me. Cam likes to keep reminding me that I did traditionals all throughout our competition, so I'm picking a traditional style so I can whip his ass with it. Look at that. It's a little homage to what brought us here. So it's gonna be a golden skull with a dagger going through it, because he says I, I stabbed oh. him in the back. I just wanted to make sure like he remembered what beat him, you know? I'm picking a traditional tattoo because I'm playing it smart. Cam's ego gets in his way all the time, and if Cam's history proves itself again, he's gonna shoot himself in the foot. Sorry. 
I have so many of these long, thin lines within this tattoo. If this canvas doesn't stop moving, these lines are All right, guys, ready to duke it out? I'm ready, man. Tim, got the gloves on? Yes, sir. Your 90-minute face-off tattoo starts right now. Yeah, let's do it, man. That was sick. Sweet. I check that out in the mirror there? Hey, Tim, you want to hear what a real machine sounds like? Gosh, I can't hear myself think. My tattoo is a neo-traditional skeleton hand holding an hourglass. All good? All good. Judges said I couldn't do American traditional. They didn't say I couldn't do neo-traditional. I got this. Hey, Tim, step on the gas. Step on the gas. My tattoo's just a simple illustrative tattoo. It's just like a little cluster of gems with some leaves. My style consists of a lot of like bells and whistles, and those are all the things that I'm gonna have to take out in order to pull off this 90-minute tattoo. That's probably the fastest I've ever seen you move. I'm working, man. You went home and did some studying and some tuning or what? All that. The artistic side of me is something that I've always had, but speed, saturation, all those things can come with time, and I've been working on that, and I'm a much faster tattooer now, so Kyle better bring it. I'm not even blinking, so I'm tearing. <laughs> 60 minutes left, guys. 60 minutes left. You better not be doing any uh, traditional tats over here. No, do neo tread, bro. <sighs> neo traditional is different from American traditional because you're not restricted to just four colors. You're not restricted to just one line weight. I'm using multiple line weights, different colors, and different tricks of shading and light source to show that it's not just an American traditional piece. Just like old times right now. Yeah, baby. Kyle, you're not supposed to be doing traditional. Your drawing looks traditional. I mean, there's nothing fancy or illustrative about this drawing. He needs to really step up his shading game and really make this thing have some dimension. Otherwise, if it looks flat, it's gonna look traditional. Get to work, because you only got uh, 51 minutes left. Mm -hmm.